pacing back and forth Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No Hey everyone, it's Karen. Hi my gems. Okay, so I'm usually putting on makeup. I'm not going to be doing that <laughs> today in this video. I actually, um, I watch a lot of YouTubers and this video is going to be very different. I am just, I try to be a health nut sometimes and always look for ingredients in my foods, in my skincare and my makeup and all that stuff. And almost any time you <laughs> you buy something, there's either going to be a paraben in it or something else, you know? I mean, I, anyhow, you get you get the gist of what I'm saying. Nowadays, we're looking to see what's in our products. And I have seen a few videos from some really lovely ladies that I know doing um, makeup tutorials and looks and with a company that um, was known for duplicating other products from what I understand. So I was like, ooh. You know, dupes. Everybody talks about dupes and how much you can get, like, instead of paying $85, you could pay $10 or $20 or whatever for a great product. Well, that's awesome. You know, like, I want to be a part of that. I want to see what's going on with that, you know? So I went ahead and searched a company name and just to see if there was any backlash or anything like that. And I saw mostly really good things. I mean, there was one article, I think, that was not good. Which, one article, right? So, no big deal. Anyway, I am not going to any company, anything like that ever on my channel. And this video is for informational purposes only. I, am, I have the utmost respect for all of you and all of the YouTubers who've used these products. I have to say, I've been duped too. And that's when I started realizing years ago that there was fake makeup on the market. I went and bought a Jaclyn Hill palette off of eBay thinking that I was saving a buck, you know? And then at the time they had copied the packaging, copied the colors the best they could. I was in a makeup group online and someone said, that's fake. And then I went back to the eBay seller. I looked at, they had great seller ratings. They had all this other stuff, whatever. So I looked at their return policy. I said I wanted to return it. On that site, it had said, um, you'll, be, you'll have to pay the shipping or whatever. Well, they wound up with, because I bought a few palettes, different ones. And um, they wound up saying to me, you don't have to return it. Which led me to believe, okay, this is definitely fake, you know? And, but they did give me my money back. And I was like, okay, but you had to file a claim with eBay, which is not easy to do, okay? So, um, but I wound up winning and getting my money back and all that stuff. Anyway, so I saw this brand, You Can Be, and I was like, okay, I saw people were buying off Amazon. I'm, I'm so weird about, because of what happened with eBay, buying stuff off Amazon and all that. But I noticed there was a bunch of different sellers um, with these products selling these palettes for $13, $9, $20. And I was like, hmm. And I had seen the color results from some of the videos. And I was like, okay, wow. And mind you that since um, fake makeup has been out, there is a documentary on Netflix with Marlena Stell, who's the owner of Makeup Geek. She is in that. And if you haven't seen it, you might want to hear more about this just for your own personal use, just for whatever you may happen to see in the future. Um, so you'll know the difference. Like when you're looking at a fake product, they're getting better and better now at producing um, better packaging. There's no misspellings on some of them and all of those things. So anyhow, I was like, I want to try this. You can be eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to their website. I'm going to put clips in here so you guys can see all of this. And on their website, I don't see a physical address for the company. And I don't see a list of ingredients. And I was like, okay, let me do a little bit more research. So I went ahead with products made in China. They're, they're not all bad, okay? They're really not. And I have been researching for a couple of days now, like religiously looking through things. And you can be, 
isn't that a real company? And <laughs> it actually when companies here in the United States work with labs over in China, they have um, what's called like a, a mediation company that's located in the US, but does their research on the labs. So this way before it's used, they're found reputable. And it's very difficult to find because most of the find a, a specific lab if you're looking for it. Um, when a product says made in PRC or um, made in China, you're well, where in China, you know, you don't know. So you have to trust it. And if it's a, um, you know, a reputable company for the US, of course, you're going to trust it. And you know, I would. And that's that. But I traced you can be back to um, I went to a site called Export Hub, I think it was, and I'll put it in here. And I asked, which basically is you market that way. They you you get a membership with them, and if you're a company and you fill out a few details, and um, then you're on a list if people are looking for manufacturers and looking to buy product. Okay, so <laughs> that's where this company was listed as this name I'll put down here. It even tells you what to look for to verify um, the company. Here it shows you they've been registered. And then the purpose of a verification report, because I wanted to verify who they are. Because I'll explain it all in a video. And then it says down here, do your research. On top of reviewing the company's website, carefully read out their policies and take notice of points they made regarding returns, damages, and back orders. Be sure they have posted a physical business address and accurate contact information on the website. Search for company name along with the words like scamp or dishonest to find out if any other distributors or retailers have had a bad experience with them. Okay, and then it tells you how to choose wisely, ask for their business license number and business license number as well. Gosh, they don't even know how to word things on here it tells you how you can do business okay it tells you to make sure you have a landline phone number <sighs> this is this is what I'm looking for because when you go to you can be and you can only get so much information on um, the mobile phone so that's why I'm doing it on my laptop and filming from my phone those products Aliexpress all right here it is down here this is you can be makeup.com okay so I was looking here at this, it says it's not secure, this website. Their email is a Gmail, okay? And then if you go down, let me see where it's at. I don't know if it's down here or what. Wholesale contact info. Oh, location and working hours. Look at this. There is no location. It just says you can chat with someone online. Wholesale contact info is a hotmail address and they have a WhatsApp phone number. These are all red flags to me. This is why I'm hesitant in buying from them. 
let's see. I'm sorry, guys. Shipping and returns. The other thing I'm curious is with if you buy a product from here, if you've bought one and wanted to return it, do they actually let make you return the product before you get a refund or do they let you keep it? That is important to know. Okay, so now we've seen this. We've also, all right, let's go to their products. Now, they don't have the products ingredients listed on the website, but what they do have is the box here for you to see um, am I done yet? that it traces back to that trading company that I was just on that website with. So you can be makeup is not an actual company. They have bought their product through this company here. I have yet to look at the ingredients, but I see that there are parabens in it so far. Okay. Plus it had the website, um, but that was it. So I went through everything and I asked to verify a physical address and product ingredients and I was supposed to hear back within 24 to 48 hours. And um, I noticed the very next day, um, things changed on the website. And I was no longer allowed the image of what the back of the packaging said. And I originally had been. And I looked up the ingredients, guys. Um, as far as it being cruelty-free, it is pretty much, but, and if this is correct, and they're actually, these are the ingredients, there are some metals and some toxins in there as well as some parabens. Um, <clears throat> so I, I did find that out. Okay. Okay, so now all of a sudden you get these things that pop up that someone has bought it recently and all of that. And what we're gonna do is, is yeah. go down to see yeah. the pictures they have because yesterday we were able to see the ingredients. And guess what? Today we're not. We're not able to see what it says on the back of the palette anymore. So not only do we not have access to the ingredients on the website anymore, which they were never listed, but I was able to um, zoom in on the packaging. I cannot do that anymore. It says if you have questions, contact us. Okay, so yeah, this wasn't here either. Someone bought this, someone bought that. It's asking me to accept cookies today. It doesn't say up here anymore that it's not secure, which is interesting. Let's see, I know that, let's uh, see what it says for contact us for customer service. The email has changed to so you can be beauty at 163.com. Let's see what it says for wholesale. Okay, you got a WhatsApp and a WeChat number there. Let's go to the bottom of the screen see what the about us says today we are the manufacturer of you can be hot cell brand with 10 years experience in beauty industry and a dedicated team on research de design and production you can be as a high quality and affordable makeup brand with a selection of products okay I don't see any or it says anything about location like it did yesterday hmm. Maybe I can find it um, if I look through the mobile app. Okay. So, Jackson, would you let Kona in? Let's just see if any other palette 
Yeah, Shall we? Yeah, well, let's go all the way down first. Shh, I told you to be quiet. Okay. Come on, let's go down to the bottom. They're on Instagram. Return and refund policy. Search, contact us, shipping and returns. Okay, what does this say? Customers have the right to apply for a return within 14 days after the receipt of the product. Thought it was 30. To be eligible for your return, your return must be unused in the same condition that you received it. It also must be an original packaging. To complete your return, we require a receipt or proof of purchase. Please do not send your purchase back to the manufacturer. Customers will only be charged once at most for shipping costs. This includes returns. No restocking fee will be charged. Interesting. Okay, so. Hmm. I don't think there's anything else we need to really look now. Terms of service. Well, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else. We are not responsible if information made available on the site is not accurate, complete, or current. The material on this site is provided for general information and should not be relied upon or used as sole basis for making decisions without consulting primary. More accurate, more complete, and more timely sources of information. Any reliance on the material on this site is at your own risk. Okay, there you go, right there. No way. Wow. You guys are going to want to read this for yourself. I knew there was something with it. All right. Decided to find out where this trading company was located. And I found, I actually found it. And I'm going to put I researched the address on Google Maps and I it took me a while though because there was a lot of different sites that were trying to mislead me and pull me in, in different directions but it actually goes back to a place called Wanbo Erlu which is traditional medicines it's a medicine research and store lab kind of thing and I was like all right I have no idea how big if this is a warehouse you know that just maybe you know there's a, another room in there where this company produces their products I don't know um always they don't put their ingredients on their website look at some of the things that their website says and if you're looking I mean they even changed a they changed a few things they changed um our information on the site may not be accurate, it says now, and um, there was a Gmail and a Hotmail account for, you know, them, going to them and talking to them about the products, and there was no physical address listed for this company. Um, there was so many different things, plus they will give you wholesale prices. If you go to Amazon, you are working with different sellers that have this product in their possession and you know they didn't pay $10 for it. You know, they paid something less and they're selling it to you. Now, if you were to return this product, I would wonder if they would actually say you need to send it back or 
I'm just going to give you your money back. I'm just curious. I don't know. I, I didn't buy the product. I wanted to buy the product. I wanted it to work for me. But it's, in my opinion, not reputable at all. And frankly, it concerns me. Um, Any time have emailed this company and they have gotten back to you with the information you asked for, would you let me know? And if you have any information to add to this, would you also let me know? Because for me, making this video is hard. It was hard for me to do because I wanted this experience to work out. I wanted to say, okay, you know what I found is cool. I can go ahead and order this. And then I was just going to give the product a review. You know, hey, I've tried this product. I'm giving it a review and nobody would have known anything else. But because I found out all of this information, I feel like I need to share it with you. But I don't want anyone to feel bad if you've purchased this product, if you reviewed this product or any of those things, because this has happened to me before. I've done that and I've actually put products on my face I should have never put on my face. But now that I've been made aware of these things, I look for the ingredients and I look for the information because I want to make sure the product is safe. So I hope that you all understand that is why I made this video. And if you do have any questions about anything that I have said, I will put some links in the description box down below for you to look at things. Now, um, I guess really that's it. I'm going to make sure there's pictures and videos in here to back up everything that I've told you. Um, if you are, this is for you to make your own decision on whatever you want. If you want to continue working with this company, fine. If you feel like maybe they are not reputable and you want to send them an email, do it. Whatever your peace of mind is, or if you're comfortable with the product that you have, then you're comfortable with it. That's fine. Um, I can tell you that there are many inconsistencies that I didn't even mention and that I could, um, but I think I've given you guys enough information about it and I hope like maybe doing a, a makeup tutorial next instead of doing another ingredient thing. So um, thank you so much for joining me for this long video. Thank you for hearing about my rant. I really do appreciate every single one of you. I hope I did not offend anyone. That was not my intention at all whatsoever. Um, I just feel like this information needed to be put out there and that's it. So most of the time I do tutorials, hauls, and reviews, and unboxings. And if you're interested in those things, I would love it if you would hit that subscribe button and that bell notification, turn it to all notifications, which is make sure it's not hollow and it's completely gray. And then you will be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Racing back and forth. Oh, I don't understand why you're standing right here All your shots have scored No, scratching at the scars you left on my skin but We fight and we fall and we rise through it all Till we find what we want and we lose it all again Your touch on my skin, pull me close, take me